Okay, this might be the most frightening Donner's Pass video you've ever seen created live by a CDL 18-wheel big rig truck driver. As you can see, Donner's Pass gets snowy, as you can see. Now, before we took this land from the Indians, people didn't stay up here during the winter. They went to the lowlands and went south, following the herds of animals. But we as truck drivers, we follow the freight. Now, I will tell you why this Donner's Pass video is going to be frightening. I'm going to use minimal braking to get down the other side, the east side of the pass. Minimal braking. These next couple things are going to frighten you, but you're going to, you're going to say, Rad, why are you doing this? Why are you putting your life on the line? Listen, I put my life on the line every day. That's how, that's how, that's how CDL 18-wheel big rig truck drivers eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, there's a rest area coming up. You see the rest area. If I wanted to rest before I did Donner's Pass, there's two miles to go. Because once you get on Donner's Pass and start going down, there is no rest. There is no rest. Like this person so frightened, they stopped two miles before, before the rest area. They're looking at the heavens, praying. What will this be going down the other side of Donner's Pass for them? We don't even know if they have a four-wheel drive vehicle. They might be in a two-wheel drive. I didn't even see what kind of vehicle that was. It looked like a Plymouth. So this Donner's Pass video for all of you folks that love danger, like danger is your middle name. You have danger tattooed on your lower back as a tramp stamp. This is this this video is for you. You tramp stamp or in danger tattoo wearing son of a gun. Now fans also don't let fans drive drunk, especially on Donner's Pass. Ever ever even though I think one day of the year they should open it up and just make it drink all you want and drive Donner's Pass and whoever dies dies whoever lives lives just let it happen let it happen call the herd let natural selection take its course now the end of the truck lane that means we're getting now here you, here you are the rest area this is your last chance before going down Donner's Pass on the east side this is your last chance if you're a novice or a novice, depends on where you're from, tomato, tomato, this is your last chance to get a break. This is your last chance out. This is your last chance to pull over and call mommy or daddy and ask for help. This is it, right there. We're passing it because we don't need mommy and daddy's help. Steep ground downgrade, next five miles, Donner's Pass, when wet or frosty. That's what she said. Donner's Summit, 7,227 feet. That doesn't even scare me. As you can see, the roads are treacherous. Walls of ice to my left and right. Now, minimal braking, minimal braking. Let me also tell you, this is where this is where the danger factor comes into play even more pronounced, even more pronounced. I am wearing gym shorts on Donner's Pass, 7,000 feet in the sky, I'm wearing gym shorts. Who does that? Daredevils do that. I'm also wearing steel toe boots with no socks. That alone should frighten you. That should, that should tell you the kind of warrior that I am. Look at this guy's already on his brakes. Did you see that? He's already on his brakes because he's scared of Donner's Pass. I have not touched my brakes yet. Because my girl knows how to run Donner's Pass. She's been trained. The girl I'm talking about is the girl I'm sitting in the gray girl that I'm sitting in. She knows how to run Donner's Pass. We've been over this twice in the last month and a half. She knows how to run Donner's Pass. She loves danger. If you look at the top back, actually the lower back of her, of her rear end, she has danger stamped, tattooed on it because my gray girl knows how to run Donner's Pass. So I'm wearing gym shorts, a t-shirt, steel toe boots with no socks, and I'm not using my brakes. My girl is treating me right. She loves running, this girl. She loves running. 
Now there's a vista point. You can pull over and look over the, the crevasse down below into the valley. Some people don't do that because they're scared of heights. Then they get dizzy and get vertigo and then they fall off and they, they injure themselves. Now this, this night truck, because he's so scared, because danger is not his middle name, he is making me, he's making me and my gray girl press the brakes. And the people that are coming around me, these crazy four-wheelers, they will not let me over. This night truck is disrupting my rhythm. You can't run a dangerous route with a night truck blocking you. It's just not the way to do Donner's Pass. I mean, I'm only doing 45 miles an hour. This guy must be doing 20. The fear in his ankles, pressing on that brake pedal, that fear is frightening. That fear is frightening. He's no knight that I know. Let's get back in the, let's get back in the, the right-hand lane for slower traffic. Another vista point, if you want to look over the edge and get vertigo and fall and die, right there. Donner's Pass. I-80, east or west, you will hit the summit. Beautiful lake coming up. People speak about Donner's Pass in legendary tones. They get hushed and quiet. They speak in reverential tones, probably is the better way to phrase it. Then you have Donner Lake. People have drowned in Donner Lake, trying to swim across it because it's so long. They've drowned. Donner Lake, Donner's Pass, Donner Road was back back there. Obviously, whoever Donner was, was a very frightening person. Danger was their middle name. Isn't it crazy that there's a town named Truckee on Donner's Pass? Truckee. Probably, probably a truck driver screaming all the way down the mountain, Truckee! In fear, because they didn't have danger tramp stamped on their lower back like my gray girl does behind me. Now we've, we've leveled out a little bit on Donner's Pass. There's a chain removal area. That's it. That's it. That's the fear of Donner's Pass. Donner's Pass, people speak of this like this is fearsome. Like this is, you're going to die coming down this with, with an 18-wheeler. I don't know what they're speaking of. You have a better chance of being, being eaten by a jellyfish in the ocean. Than you do of dying on Donner's Pass because you don't know how to handle an 18-wheeler. If you don't know how to handle an 18-wheeler, maybe you shouldn't be driving one over Donner's Pass, like me. With gym shorts, a t-shirt, and steel toe boots with no socks. That is frightening. That is frightening. Vikings didn't wear socks. Why would I wear socks? I will tell you, I have nice insoles. Nice, cushy insoles. Vikings also didn't have those. But they also didn't have Twitter. But they survived. Donner's Pass. You're seeing it firsthand. You're seeing the frightening Donner's Pass that people shake. They shake in terror. Because people talk up the fear of this mountain. This is not a tough mountain. I've touched the brakes three times. Twice for the night truck. And once because I wasn't paying attention. And I touched the brakes. And it wasn't fear. Don't say that. It wasn't fear. I haven't gone over 50 miles an hour yet. You use your engine brake on Donner's Pass. You use your engine brake. If you don't have an automatic vehicle, then you use a lower gear at the top of the mountain. You don't wait till you're going down the mountain to engage a lower gear. You do it while you're at the top of the mountain before you go over either ridgeline going down with the truck pointing down you do it then you do it then like an animal with danger tramp stamped on your lower back and then you ride that girl the whole way down that's what she said this adopt a highway right here is owned by operatives i don't know what that means is that is that one of the alphabet agencies i don't know it's very strange you look up to the left don't know if you can see it they're building wood structures, log type homes. They're gorgeous in Truckee, the next four exits. If you want to come to Donner's Pass and do anything more than ride an 18 wheeler down either side of this 
phenomenal, phenomenal 7,000 foot peak. People used to do this in horse and carriage, horse and buggy, stagecoach. They weren't, they weren't scared. Well, they were scared of the Native Americans, but they weren't scared of the, the pass. Of course, they were only doing about three miles an hour. Then you've got Donner State Park. If you want to pull over and take a state park break, because maybe you're a tourist. I'm not a tourist. I'm a CDL 18-wheel commercial truck driver. There was a bear on that monument sign. That means there's probably bears and wolves and all sorts of wild things all around Donner's Pass. The wild things are more dangerous than Donner's Pass is. And then you're coming up on Lake Tahoe in one exit. Lake Tahoe is very wealthy. The wealthy people live next to danger. Let me get over to this guy that's not knowing how to merge in this Honda can get over. They try to merge at 35 miles an hour on a 55 mile an hour road. Now she speeds up because now she has the danger tramp stamped on her lower back. Donner's Pass. The most frightening version of Donner's Pass you've ever seen. I don't even know how you survived watching it, much less me driving it. Red Viking werewolf trucker. I am out.